My name's Sean from Glossop. We're down here on the Jolly Boys having a day's ferreting. Just a gorgeous winter sunshine, catching plenty of rabbits to go home and cook. My name's Dave Jones, mechanic from Romford. Boys in Suffolk call me Romford. Love ferreting. Come up here as much as I can, being out in the nature. Love it. My name's Ian Clayton, sometimes known as Torture. Come down Suffolk with some rabbiting, which is all I know about. From Sheffield. I work on highways, and in my spare time, I come rabbit. Nothing like a bigger rabbit. The Jolly Boys had returned, ready to partake in what could be the last celebration of Ferriton as a collective here in Suffolk. I know the boys love the camaraderie company and good food, but I do like to do things in a proper fashion. I like to put on a day to remember amongst people of whom I find a privilege to rabbit amongst characters who clearly love rabbiting. Although to our guests it was a relaxing jolly, to me it was another day in the office and I had to show the farmer a good harvest, especially with so many hands on deck. So it was pleasing when the rabbit started to bolt fairly evenly and consistently through the day. My terrain is pretty alien to what they are all used to. The ferreting here in the east and the sand saturated coastline isn't for the spade shy or ferret box sitter. The sand off is easy digging and after generations of burrowers digging away, the boys know when I say deep, I mean deep. Sean, Torchy, Romford and Sooty all illustrated their skill with a spade. Running to and fro the nets, digging and carrying the catch, all built up an appetite. Luckily, Steve was on hand to cook up some fresh sausage sandwiches, all washed down with a fresh cup of tea. We have a great time, catching a few rabbits, have something decent to eat, just have a good laugh, can't beat it. I'm Paul Sutton, otherwise known as Sooty. I'm a mole catcher, but I also love ferreting. I just love being out in the countryside. But of course, we had our fair share of digs. Pull me up! <laughs> nice one, pal. Nice one. They don't get away from us around here. Come on, Tolchi. Love it. Fantastic tally for this area, all caught in a timeless manner in a jovial atmosphere. Sean and I splintered off from the rest of the group and took Millie with us. Sean likes to watch the dogs work and with a few stop nets and a good ferret and Millie, we ferreted in a timeless fashion. As a rabbit started to bolt, Millie's experience made catching them look effortless. Knowing where and when they were going to bolt, the majority were caught within feet of their exit. The individuals that got the better of Millie were later introduced to the waiting stop nets for either Sean and myself to deal with. I am constantly amazed at how a good ferreting dog anticipates the bulls. They don't call me the Suffolk Gardener without good cause. The rabbit has two choices, but unfortunately it chose the latter and the spade was called upon once more.
Millie was on top form, and even with the Angelica mantling the entire hedgerow bottom, she wouldn't let any sneaky little lagomorph escape her beady eyes and gaping mouth. As Sean took our bounty to be graded and prepared for the journey back north, I counted and made sure all the ferrets were snugly inside their carrying boxes. As the sun set, it really was red sky at night, rabbiters delight. <laughs> 